sound kind of weird, but follow me when I say this. The question is a compound question. Will an attorney take my case if they, they don't think they can win? That's the first one. Will an attorney take my case if they don't think they can give me money if I win? That's the second one. Okay. Ethically and professionally, I can give you an answer to both the first and the second one together with one answer, one word. No. And you're going to say, dog, just like that? No. I said, so let's, let's do the math. Let's do the first one. If it, will an attorney take your case if they don't think you can win? I'm going to say this, and I'm going to say this, I'm going to say this. Attorneys are business people. These are not, we are the world, hold your hands, kumbaya kind of people. These people are business people. Why would they take your case if they know you're not going to win? And that's not trying to be funny, but just kind of stop and think about this for a second. You come to a representative. And I'm saying there's always, you know, and most representatives will say, you know, especially attorneys will say, we can argue anything and we can always roll the dice. You know, I've rolled the dice with a few cases where I'll say, I'll give it a shot. We'll see. If you fall in front of the right judge, we might have a chance. But I've had a couple of people who I just genuinely looked at the evidence and say, you have no chance whatsoever. Now, I didn't realize it until I was in the case for a while and I started getting more and more of the facts in there. And once I got the evidence, I said, listen, it really, if you want to go on your own, I, that's knock yourself out. I can't help it because I don't think there's anything here. I've had clients, and I've only done this a few times, where I've literally gone and said, you have no chance at all. You, your best bet would be probably to drop this today. And they did. But the reality is, is that attorneys are in the business of making money. And so let's go to the second portion. What if it's a case that they thought they could win, but they can't make any money? It's the same premise. And this is where it's so fascinating. Attorneys, we like to help. You know, there's a lot of attorneys who do pro bono work. I do pro bono work all the time. And I can tell you, I don't mind helping those people who genuinely need help. But I, you know, but I'll tell you, I always take, I always joke with people and say, businesses are not in the business of giving money away. So think about this. And this is where people kind of lose sight. You got a rep, you have an attorney or representative who is going to review your evidence, request your evidence, prepare you for your, uh, prepare you for your case. Some instances prepare you for your hearing represent you at your hearing, and then explain to you everything that goes on. That's a few hours worth of work. Well, let's assume, for instance, that everything I just said was probably about a couple of hours, about 10 hours worth of work collectively. All right. Now, the most you can get in Social Security is 25% or $6,000, and whichever is less, but the cap is at 25%. So at best, let's just say this is a garden variety straight through case. The best they can get is $6,000. But let's with $6,000. That's the best they can get, hope for. So they've put in 10 hours worth of work. On average, a consumer attorney's time could be anywhere between three to $400 an hour. So they would have put in about three to $4,000 worth of work with the hope that they can get $6,000 in contingency fee. And you're going to tell me that they're going to want to do 10 hours worth of work to get nothing. Now, you know, I've had a situation like I represented one person that, that basically what ended up happening was we got them approved, but the benefits didn't start until the day of the judge's decision, which means there was no back pay. They didn't get any back pay, but they got the benefit of getting ongoing benefits. Now, that wasn't what I was intending to do, but that's what ended up happening, and my client wanted that. And you know what? If that is what happens during the course of it, so be it. But I'm going to tell you, most representatives are not going to just willy-nilly go into a situation like that. I mean, they're not going to just say, all right, I'm just going to go in this, and I already know I'm not going to get any money, but that's okay. I'm in it for the cause. There may be some out there, and I've done one or two of those on occasion, but I tell people those are very, very rare because I'm not in the business of giving money away. Neither are most businesses. So to answer your question is that on the first part, if they don't think you can win, will they take your case? I would probably say in most cases no. And in the second instance, will they go if they know? if And this is where it gets tricky. If they know from the very beginning that they're not going to get a dime out of this case, they think you got a great case, but they're not going to get a dime. Remember, listen, listen, if they know they're not going to get a dime, there's no way to make any money on this case. They got business, they, you know, attorneys are business people too. They got bills to pay. They got people to pay. They got things that, you know, they have things that they have to pay for in order to represent you. And this is not trying to be funny. Why would they represent you for something that they know that, why would they spend time on something that they know that they're going to get no money from?
So I know that's not something you want to hear, but the reality is this. They have people, you know, they have families to feed, they have staff they got to pay for, they've got services they got to provide in order to represent their clients. They're not going to get into, in most instances, I'm not going to say every, but in most instances, business owners are not going to take on a case unless you're a large, large firm and they don't mind doing the pro bono work. If they know right out the gate that they're not going to make any money on it. I'm not saying that's an absolute, but in my experiences, for the most part, don't be surprised if you get pushback from someone who doesn't want to take your case because they believe, one, they can't win it, or two, they're not going to make any money on it. That's just the business of law. Thank you.